Okay, so we're looking at uh, revision for distributions. It's nearly four o'clock and it's not Friday, so hopefully there'll be less mistakes and no Danny, there's no choir practice on a Monday. Okay, so we'll look at, there's uh, 17 pages, so each of these has got one question per page. So as, as normal, just uh, pause when you're ready and then come back live and we'll see how we go. Um, I've got answers, so it should be fine for this one. Okay, so we're back, so let's go to pen. Okay, Okay. so we've got uh, defective or not defective, so we've got a binomial distribution. Okay, so the probability, we've got 12, so the probability that x equals 2 uh, should be 12, c2, 1 16th are defective, so we want two defectives, and we want 10 not defective, and according to the answer, that should be 1, 3, 5, 2. Okay, so that's part A. Part B, at least 2, equals 1 minus the probability of x equals 0 plus x equals 1. At least 2, so we have to include 2, so it's just 1 minus 0 plus 1. So that's 1 minus 12c, 0. 1 16th, 0, 15 16th to the power of 12 plus 12c1, 1 16th, 1, 15 16th to the power of 11, close bracket, and according to the answer, 1702. So hopefully that's okay. If there's not, you'll tell me by email and screen dumps. Okay, looking at the next question. Okay, so a bag of carrots has a mean of that and a standard deviation of that. What's the probability? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we've got means and we've got standard deviations. So it's a normal distribution. So when you're ready, have a go and then when you and then come back live. Okay, maybe you've had a go. Maybe you're just copying me at one and a half times speed. Okay, so first one, probability that x is less than 650 is the first question. Okay, so we need to get the z-score. So the z-score is 650 minus 700 over 50. Again, it doesn't hurt if you're looking at a diagram. So it means 700, okay. And we're getting less than 650. So the first one, so the answer must be less than a half. Okay, so uh, 650 minus 700, so that's minus one. And so, uh, when you put look at your unit table, um, it's one five eight seven. Um, but if you're using because it's a minus one, uh, that means we've got sixty eight, uh, which is thirty two. So if you've got zero point one six, that's also correct because it's an exact value. You can use the sixty eight ninety five ninety nine point seven ones. Okay. So looking at the next one, uh, part B probability that x is less than 690, so we've got to work out the z-score again. 690 minus 700 over 50, which is minus 0.2, I think, 10 over 50, yep. And then on your table of values, you should get an answer. Um, I haven't got my table with me, but I'm just looking at the answer sheet that I've got, and it should be around about 0.42. Sevens or something close to that. Um, okay, next one, more than 700, so that's exactly the mean. Okay. Uh, okay. So part C, probability that X is greater than 700. 700 is the mean, so the answer has to be 0.5. Okay, less than 650, given that it was less than 690. Okay, so the next one's conditional. So probability that it's less than 650 given it was less than 690 so there's 650 there's 690 okay so probability that it's less than 650 is that probability it's less than 690 is that so the overlap is there so this will be the probability that x is less than 650 which is the intersection divided by x is less than 690 
Now, the 650 answer we've got. So let's use the 1587. 1587. And the 690 answer is that answer. 4207. And then I shall get my calculator. Because this one I don't have on my sheet of paper. 0.1587. Divided by 0 0.4207, and I get 0 0.3772. Okay, so conditional probabilities look for the overlap, do it on a diagram, and it's A intersection B over B. So that's B, and the intersection is just the first events. Okay, coming across. Okay, 10 people enter the supermarket per hour in the next hour. So it's a rate of change, so it's going to be a poisson. Okay, so. When you're ready, have a go, and then come back live. Okay, uh, question part A, probability, so we have to work out lambda first. So lambda, 10 people enter the market per hour, and it's in the next hour, so lambda equals 10. Okay, because the time frames match per hour and in the next hour. So probability that x equals 10 for lambda equals 10, uh, questions of I think the answer is 0 0.1251, it's a discrete value, B, at least 10, probability that X is greater than 10, so it's 1 minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 9, so we use the cumulative, okay, so we can use 10 to infinity, or 1 minus 9, and I think that's 5421, um, okay, Okay, I'm back. I just went out to get my table of values again. Okay, so um, there's eight, there's ten. Uh, probability that at least ten enter, given that at least eight enter. So the overlap is the greater than ten answer. Um, yep, and then the event B will just be the eight answer. So in part C, probability that X is greater than or equal to ten, given that it's at least eight eight will be <laughs> ten over eight. Okay, so we've worked out the ten answer already. So it's five, four, two, one. And the eight answer oh dear. It's using my piece of paper. Okay, the eight answer is one minus the seven answer. 7 answer, so it's 1 minus 0 0.2202, and that equals, I've seen my calculator again, 0 0.5421 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2202, close bracket, equals 0 0.6952. Two. Okay. Hopefully that was okay. Next question. Okay, means and standard deviation. So we've got a normal curve again, and it says normal, but once you've got means and standard deviations, then you've got normal. Okay, so pause and come back live when you're ready. Okay, we're back. Probability that x is greater than, oh, sorry, less. Less than 620. So z score 620 minus 600. 40, and again, not the diagram has to be done. There's 600, there's 620, and we want to be less, so the answer has to be bigger than 0.5. So uh, 20 is 20, that's 0.5. And so on your normal curve, uh, Z score 0.5, the answer should be 6915. Okay, that's part A. Part B, probably. 40 less than x less than 610. So we work out the two z scores. So the first z score 540 minus 600 over 40. So that's 1.5. Second z score is the score 610 minus 600 over 40, which is 0.25. 
So when you subtract the two areas, okay, so the 1.5, ah, the moving piece of paper around, 1.5, so probability that x uh, z is less than 1.5 is 9 double 3 2 probability that z is less than 0.25 is 5987 and moving piece of paper around question 4 part b 4 part b 5319 Hang on, just check that again. That doesn't look right. 540. Oh, it's a minus Z score. Stupid. Minus Z score. So that answer's wrong. Sorry, guys. Minus. Minus 1.5. Oh, double six eight. subtract those numbers you get 5319 okay so a bit of a slip up there and that's the end of the question so let's move on okay 20% uh, of cheese blocks have an expired date okay so we've got expired or not expired so it's a binomial question Okay, so again, pause and have a go when you're ready. Okay, so the probability of being expired is 0.2. Okay, so part A, probability that x equals 4, and we're buying 10 blocks. So we've got 10 C4, we've got 4 to be expired. 0 0.24, 0 0.86, and should equal 0 0.0881 B at least 1 probably that X is at least 1 equals 1 minus probably that X equals 0 1 minus uh, okay. 10 C 0 0.20 0 0.810 and when you do that calculation 8926 Okay, next one, part C, 4 expired, given at least 1 is expired. Okay. X equals 4, given at least 1. So, there's 1, there's 4. This event is exactly 4, and greater than 1 is that. So the only time they overlap is at event 4. So it's going to be X equals 4. Event B, so x equals 4, by coincidence we've done that, not the coincidence, that's what I wanted, and at least 1, 8, 9, 2, 6, and clear my calculator, 0 0.0881, divided by 0 0.8926, equals 0 0.098. Seven. Okay, so here the overlap is the exact event, not a, not a continuous. Okay, right now three shoplifts is recorded every five days on a given day. Okay, so it's going to be, it's a rate of change, so it's going to be Poisson, but you need to do a change in the value of lambda. So have a go, and when you're ready, come back. Okay, so three in five days and we want to turn it into one day, so we divide by five. So it's going to be three-fifths in one day. So lambda equals three-fifths, which is 0.6. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so there's two parts of the question. We want at least one. Probability that x is at least 1 is 1 minus the probability that x equals 0. And question is uh, uh, my tables. Sorry, guys. Put 
point six. Yep, so I got a point six and not point five, four, eight, eight is a zero answer. And when you subtract, you get no point four five one two. Okay, was probably catching at least two. At least two given you caught at least one. So there's one, there's two, that and that. So the overlap is greater than two over the second event, which is just one. Okay. So um, the greater than one answer we've done. So we know that the denominator is 0.4512 and we have to do that one. So that's going to be one minus less than or equal to one, so it's one minus and less than or equal to one, I've got eight seven eight one. And then chuck that on the calculator. So one minus point eight seven clear to square. One minus point eight seven eight one equals divided by point four five one two. The answer is point two seven zero two. Okay, come across. Okay, three quarters of shoppers look for specials. Okay, so we've got look for specials, don't look for specials, so it's binomial. Okay, so have a go when you're ready. Okay, we're back. Okay, look equals three quarters. So not look equals one quarter. Okay, so we've got fourteen choppers. We want five. So probability that x equals five equals fourteen c five, and we're looking for choppers. Yep. So we've got three quarters to the five, one quarter to the power of nine and the answer I've got is 0018 okay at least four there's one minus probability that x equals zero one so this is going to be a bit longer So we've got to do these calculate co greater than four, so we need to do the zero, the one, the two, the three. So that'll take a little bit of time. Um, but the answer is nine 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 eight. So there's a bit of work in that one. Okay. Uh, in the last one. Okay, uh, so we're back again. Probability uh C. Probably that more than three. More than three equals one minus a probability of oh. Yep. So more than three, that's gonna be the same answer as that. So we don't need to do it. So it's a silly question. More than three is the same as X is that, so don't worry about the last one because it's the same question. More than three is the same as four. So I don't know why I asked that. Okay. Moving on. Okay, three complaints are made per day on a given day. So per day, on a day, so it's press on. Okay, have a go and when you're ready, come back. Okay, you're back. So lambda equals three because the time frame matches. So probability that x equals zero for lambda equals three. I've got 0498. Okay, next one. At l uh, probability that x equals 2 sh should be 2240 okay for c probability that x is at least 1 is 1 minus probability that x equals 0 and that's 9502 and part d at most 2 
probability that x is less than at most 2 given there was at least 1. At most 2 means x is less than 2, less than or equal to 2. Okay, so there's 1, there's 2. So it's going to be less than 2 and greater than 1. So the overlap is between 1 and 2. So, so the answer will be probability that x equals 1 plus probability that x equals 2. That's the overlap. And event B is x is greater than or equal to 1, which is 9502. Okay, so we've got lambda equals 3. And we've got my tables. Okay, uh, lambda equals 3. Good, I've got that value x equals 1, so 0 0.1494 and x equals 2 is 2240 and then divide by 9502 so calculator 0.1494 plus 0.2240 equals divided by 0 0.9502 39 39 30 okay hopefully that's okay moving on question 8 okay we've got means and standard deviation so it's the normal okay so this is these are getting pretty monotonous so the z score is 595 minus 600 over 25 so again there's 600, there's 595, so we need an answer less than a half. Um, so 5 over 25 is 0 0.2 with a negative sign. And that will give us, so probability that Z is less than minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.4207. That's pretty straightforward. Okay. A box of matches is supposed to have an average. Okay, so averages and standard deviations. So it's normal again. So again, pretty monotonous. Okay, so A, Z score equals 54 minus 47 over 6. So we've got 7 over 6. So that's about... Get my calculator. 7 divided by 6.1.17. So probability that x or z is greater than 1.17 on your calculator on the tables hmm, 0.121 that seems alright okay b probability that okay we need to z score 50 minus 47 over 6 which is 0.5 so probability that z is less than 50 is 6915 or something close to that and C uh, so we've done so we need a Z score for 45 that's minus 0.33 second Z score is 50 which we've just done so Z2 we've done that one so probably that uh, and so there's we've done the second one already and the minus 0.33 Minus 0 0.33, 3707, and then subtract, and 10C, 3208, or something like that. Okay, moving on. Okay, 150th complain, so we've got complainers and not complainers, so it's binomial.
Okay, so have a go when you're ready. Okay, so uh, we're going to find the expected value of x. So the probability is 1 20th times 25 shoppers. So it's 25 over 20. So we I think it's 1.25. Yep. So we're expecting 1.25 shoppers to complain, and that's the mean. Okay. Now, uh, so we don't have a standard deviation. So the standard deviation equals the square root of n times p times q, which is the square root of 25 times p, 1 over 20 times 19 over 20. So we're going to do that calculation. divided by 20 times 19 divided by 20 equals so it's the square root of 1.1875 usually don't have to tell me anyway square root answer equals so 1.0897 so what's the probability of at least one complaint complaint so the z score um, We've got one complaint, and the average is 1.25, and then we divide by 1.0897. So that's a Z score of 0 0.23 to two decimal places. So probably that Z is less than 0 0.23. Off your table of values. Now we want of at least one complaint, so we want to be greater than that. So that's going to be 1 minus the 0 0.23 answer. 0 0.23. So we've got 5910 and 11. That's 7 double. No, that's not right. So you might pick up that's a negative Z score minus there. So that's a minus which changes that number uh, to minus a z score, minus 0 0.23. So that's 4090. And I think that's right. So 0 0.5, uh, 5910. So that's unfortunately that's not the answer I've got, but that's the answer I've got. So I'm going to leave it at that. And if there's a mistake, then it's my mistake. Okay. Um, if you're still enough to take check six, will bounce every five days. So we've got every five days, and then on a given day, so it's plus one again. Work out lambda, and then keep going. So six in five days, and we want. One day, so we need to divide by five. So it's going to be six over five in one day, which is 1.2. So lambda equals 1.2. Um, so at least one. Okay, so. Oh, equals one, sorry. X equals one. So uh, question 12, 3614. At least one is one minus zero. Hello, I got a call out. There's a call out. I got friends. I got it's Rachel and some new in girls. It's a shout out. It's a shout out to all the girls in class. What for? My birth. My birthday was in July. It's too late. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause because I have to get rid of these kids. Okay, so we got rid of those kids. That's good. Um, so 12B. So when you do that calculation, you get 6988. Okay, C. At most three will bounce given at least one. Okay, so there's one. So at most three given at least one. So the overlap is one, two, and three. So what we have to do is we have to do probability that 
at most three given at least one will be one, two, three. over the at least one answer. So I'm going to pause and just get my numbers ready. Okay, so I'm back. So I, with this 1, 2 and 3, I didn't have the table, but I had a cumulative table for 1.2. So what I did was I did the 3 answer on a cumulative minus the 0 answer, which would give me the 1, 2, 3, so that gave me that number. And divided by the answer we knew, 6, 9, double eight. And so that gives us 0.9516. Okay, let's move on. Okay, biscuits 15% contain broken, so it's binomial again. Okay, so probably a broken equals 0.15, so probably not broke equals. Eight five, so there's only one. We've got seven selected, and at least one. If someone can't spell, so probably that is at least one equals one minus the probability that x equals zero. So one minus seven c zero, no brokens. Point one five to the zero, point eight five to the seven, and according to my answer sheets. Question 13, 6794. Okay. Okay, let's see what's on the next few slides. Okay. Um, a random sample with without replacing, so we're looking at hypergeometric. Now, I haven't got answers for this, so this I've just got these out of the textbook, so hopefully they'll be okay. So have a go when you're ready, come back. Okay, so we've got three items okay so zero one two three so the the sample of 10 contains four defectives so the unrestricted case equals a sample of four a sample of three from 10 so 10 c3 120, so the unrestricted case is 120. Okay, um, so we've got, there's four defectives, so this is going to be 4, s this is x, 4cx, so 4c0, um, 1, 4, 6, 4, and then the last number would be 1, but we can't get to that. Okay, so we've got 6C3 minus X, which one? 6C. So 6C3, and it looks to be okay, so that's 20. 6C2, 15. 6C1 is 6. 6C0 six is 1. Okay, so then we multiply, so 20, 60, 36, and 4, now let's put the question, at most 1, so that's going to be at most 1 is those two answers, so that's 80 over 120, which is 2 thirds, okay, that's hypergeometric, sampling without replacement. Okay, um, okay, so we've got without replacement again, so we've got hypergeometric. So have a go when you're ready. Okay, you might be back or you may not be. So, uh, sample contains 10, of which 4. So, unrestricted case, this is pretty similar. C3 we just did. So that's 120. Alright, so, so this is 
we don't really need to do it. So we've got 4CX, 6C, how many samples? 3, 1, 6. So 1, 4, 6, 4. We're just, we're just looking at the one answer. Um, so 6C3, we just did this. 20, I guess it's 15 again. 15. So we just want that answer. Right. So probably that x equals 1 is just 60. I've got 120 equals a half. Um, the mean. Uh, I've got my notes with me, but I'm pretty sure the mean is just n times p. So we've got three trials times the probability of being defective is four tenths. So the mean should be 1.2. Now obviously this question is about standard deviation as well, but they're in your notes. We're just doing the mean. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping that's right, but I haven't got my notes with me for this one. So let's move on. Okay, normal approximation to the mean. This is the second last page. Find the probability in a group of 30 students, at least 7 at most 10 will get PhD with the probability of a student getting a PhD is 1 6. So the, ans like the answer in real terms is x equals 7 plus at least 7 and at most 8. Okay, so that's, that's what, what the question is actually asking. Okay, so I've just done some calculations off the side. So the mean is NP, which is 5. So we expect 5 in a group of 30. In a group of 30 where the probability is 1, 6, we expect to get 5 people. That makes sense. The standard deviation is the square root of NPQ, which is uh, going to be 2.04. Okay, so we want pr um, probability that X is 7 less than equal to X less than equal to 10. And this is the way I want you to do it. Because it's got an equal sign, I want you to take x equals 6 and I want you to take so you've got to go from behind and you've got to go from outside so x equals 11 so z equals 6 minus 5 over 2.04 which is 1 divided by 2.04 4902 uh, z equals 11 minus 5 over 2.04 so 6 divided by 3.04, 2.04, sorry. 6 divided by 2.04 equals 2.9411. Okay, so probability that Z is less than, let's just do two different places. Okay, get my table of values again. 49, 496879. Probability that Z is less than 2.94. Uh, yep, 2.949984. And just minus. So the answer I'm going to take is 3105. Okay. So don't forget, if it's got <laughs> equal signs, then you take one point on either side. If it was a less than without an equal sign, you take a half point spread. So that's what I'll be accepting in the test. Okay. Um, in a maths exam, 60% of students are granted a pass, and the number of fails before a pass is ob obtained. Okay, so this is going to be uh, geometric sequences. Geometric series, I think we call them. Okay. Um, so it's the same as the question in the, in the book. I just changed the numbers. So the X is the number of failures before a pass. So probably that X is greater than or equal to 3 equals, you know, um, probably that 
x equals 3 plus x equals 4 plus x equals 5 plus da 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 um, but that's the same as 1 minus probability that x equals 0 plus x equals 1 oh, sorry plus x equals 2 so um, so x equals 0 so no fails before the first pass so that's going to just be 0 0.6 probability that x equals 1 will be 0 0.4 by 0 0.6 which is 24 probability that x equals it's quicker doing this way 0 0.4 squared times 0 0.6 rather than doing a geometric sequence just do the calculations so 0 0.16 times 0 0.6 Again, clear 0.6 times 0 0.6 or 0.096. So we add up those numbers. Plus. So those numbers add up to 936. So the answer is 1 minus 0 0.936. So the answer is O. Oh 064. Okay. Uh, part 2, that's part A. Part B, uh, 0 to 6. So this will do as a geometric sequence. So we've got point Oh no, 0 0.6, sorry, plus 0.4 by 0.6 plus uh, plus 1 um, for 6 will be 0 0.4 to 6 times 0.6. So 0, 0 to 6, so n equals 7. A equals point A equals point six and R equals point four. So S seven equals A times R to the N minus one over R minus one. We can flip these numbers around, doesn't matter. Oh, I get my calculator out. So 0.4 to the power of 7 minus 1 equals multiply by 0 0.6 equals divided by minus 0 0.6 equals. So I get 9984. I think that's our last question. Yay! So, you know, see how you go with that. It's a long video. Bye.